this tree was $16 on target.com so loving that the other things that I just got just now is I got a couple more strands of light I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do the lights over the mirror or if I'm going to do this little garland guy over the mirror the follow-up option could be this little garland guy around the tree but I don't know if I like that yet and then I don't know where he's going yet but I also got this cute little bird <laughs> I just think he's the cutest thing Loving this. I did realize that I mixed the warm lights with I got pure white lights for the string lights and that was definitely on accident and it was really because whenever I was like, getting the string lights today I was like oh my gosh I've never gotten pure white lights like that could be really cool forgetting that this Christmas tree was already gonna be the warm but I mean the more lights the merrier. Now I know I mentioned earlier I was going to start this day with going and getting a holiday drink at Starbucks but I'm no longer going to Starbucks for reasons that we could discuss later if you're interested I'm mad at them that I'm mad at Starbucks and that's why we didn't go get a holiday drink today basically what has happened with Starbucks is that someone has like hacked my account essentially and they reloaded my Starbucks card with money and then I contacted Starbucks and was like this was an unauthorized reload I did not do this can we please cancel this like can you see who else is in my account like whatever it may be contacted them and they were like we gotta do this over the phone go ahead and call this number so I stayed calling the customer service number but it's one of those numbers where you get stuck in that automated loop where it's like press this button if you need this press this button if you need this and you just can never make it to a person and I eventually made it as far as I could and then they're like we need your six digit security code which I don't know like I don't know my six digit security code for Starbucks so I was feeling frustrated at that and customer service emailed me back and was like if you can't get through like we'll go ahead and give you a call so that we can get this fixed so I was like okay perfect yes give me a call so we can get this fixed and then they never did so, and then whenever I pulled up my Starbucks app today to make an online order so I could pick it up on the way into work I saw that all of the money that had gotten auto loaded onto my account was spent in Dallas and like to the cent so I don't know if they I don't know what they did my guess is they somehow were trying to get cash or something because it was to the cent spent and like I said in Dallas Texas which I I am not in and I'm feeling frustrated at Starbucks because I told them that this was happening SOS please help and they didn't do anything and now it's gonna be harder to get it back it literally was $30 I guess I didn't say that it literally was $30 but it's the principle of it and I don't really just have like $30 that can just go to someone else's coffee so that's why there is a lack of Starbucks holiday drink in this video and I am on a personal boycott from them but I did get peppermint hot chocolate at Target so we'll have that at some point today. I do need to do work today as far as YouTube goes. I have a whole video that I need to edit before tomorrow so that's going to be a lot of this afternoon is sitting down and editing that which is probably a little less festive merry happy but I'm gonna play Christmas music while I do it so that part will be festive merry happy and then once I get done with it my reward is that we get to go and do my Christmas puzzle that is upstairs that I've been loving. A thousand piece puzzle. I've made good progress. I've dedicated some hours to it so far. <laughs> working a lot of hours this week because I'm trying to fit all of my weekly hours into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to get paid for all of them and then also be able to take Thanksgiving off. So I'm here at 7.30 right now. I am planning on staying until 5.10 and that's going to be the case for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because then I'll get my 29 hours in. So that being said, I'm going to get in there so I can clock in, start getting paid. I don't know if it's going to be too busy of a day today. I have at least three counseling notes that I did not do last week that I need to do today. So that's the plan. And and I don't, we'll just see from there how things go. Whew. 
day two of my ridiculously long hours at work because I'm fitting all my hours into these three days. Yesterday, the reason that I didn't catch up after the vlog is the fact that Zach has been wanting a Nintendo Switch for a while now and they have like a Nintendo Switch Mario Kart bundle where it was like discounted where you could get Mario Kart. I don't know what it was, like for the same price or something, some sort of deal at Best Buy. And so I got home and we went to Best Buy and got the Nintendo Switch and so they played Mario Kart for the rest of the night. Out of all of the like little Grand Prix set of four races that we did, there was one single race that I got second and Zach got third. Other than that, he was ahead of me. <laughs> the whole time which i feel like is a constant in my life like i feel like anyone i would play mario kart with growing up they would always get first and i would either get second or beyond and i think i just need to warm back up it's a new skill that i'm gonna have to be practicing on myself for example i didn't know drifting was a thing in mario kart i didn't know shaking your controller whenever you're going up for a jump gives you like a little like fast boost or anything so i'm a work in progress as far as that goes today i am doing the same hours it'll be like 7 30 to 5 10 i'm leaving a little bit early Earlier, so I'll get a little bit extra that I'll choose to leave early or tomorrow with and I actually have kids that I'm planning to see today yesterday was a big catch-up day I did a whole lot of documentation organization debriefing with people who have been gone like kind of catching them up on things everything and so it felt a little bit busy I was super tired yesterday but I didn't clinically see any kids I like hung out with them but I didn't clinically see any kids whereas today I do have kids that I want to see on my list to get those second in the month sessions in especially Especially, I just feel like it would mostly be easier to do it before Thanksgiving than after Thanksgiving. And so that is the plan. And then Zach is meeting me at work tonight because I'm taking him to the airport tonight because he's leaving for home for Thanksgiving tonight. Whereas I still have a couple days that I'm here. So I think that's a good little update. Mario Kart, a little bit of work. My bag is huge and full today. It's busting at the seams quite literally. It's breaking if you can see that. So I'm gonna need to get a new one soon. But I'm just bringing a lot of food. I'm bringing my book because I I feel like I'm moving into this place. And I'll catch you at some point later. Some point later. Bye. Coming at you live from the airport. Crazy. Holiday travel is definitely at a high, but today at work, it was all right day. I feel like there's always highs and lows in a day. Today was a high was that I played volleyball for about two hours and I was actually kind of good. So that was fun. Definitely enjoyed that for myself. I cannot tell all that is supposed to be going on with this traffic. I fly out Thursday morning. So I feel like at that point, the airport should be a bit calmer because I feel like most people for their Thanksgiving trips try to be there by Thanksgiving. So I'm kind of imagining that it'll be calmer for me. But anyways, yeah, I played volleyball. It was actually good. Shocked everyone, definitely including myself. Had two counseling sessions, which was good administered telehealth appointments uh, which was also like that just went fine i have one note to catch up on tomorrow and then also tomorrow i have two more kids scheduled to see so i feel like it's been a constant flow of work but definitely doable this entire week which definitely feels good because it's nice to be able to get things done and not feel too overwhelmed but i also am definitely looking forward to the break that is going to come with the thanksgiving days that i gave myself i also the books in my bag back there but i brought my book in with me today for whenever i have down time because sometimes I feel like I'm just sitting there and letting my brain rot and so I read quite a few pages of Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid her newest release and I had heard people say that Carrie Soto is Back wasn't as good as some of Taylor Jenkins Reid's other books I honestly love it just the same I don't know if it's something about her writing style or like what it really is but I definitely enjoyed this book like I did her other ones what is going on i definitely have enjoyed this book like i did her other ones i'm almost done with it i'm not quite finished with it but we're getting there and even though these lights are fun and pretty i will catch up with you once i actually get home I have survived my workout week. I fit all of my 29 hours into these three days. So it was about like nine hours and 45 minutes-ish, 40 minutes-ish every single day. And I am very glad that it is done. That being said, tonight I have so much I need to do as far as getting ready because I fly out very early tomorrow to go back home for Thanksgiving. I feel like pretty much everyone is on their Thanksgiving break right now and or like already where they're meant to be and anything. So it feels kind of weird Wednesday night 
getting ready to fly like that just never have I ever had to fly on a holiday in order to get home but I am this year and so I still need to pack to clean up everything just so that whenever I return everything looks nice and dandy I want to go work out tonight because I haven't done that in a second and I think it could help me like mentally feel better and everything super good day at work today though I had two sessions we had our weekly meeting since obviously no one's gonna be there tomorrow except one for holiday coverage so I caught up on notes I did a lot of treatment planning like finding materials that I want to use in the future for clients so everything went fine there but it just feels like I have been in jail for way too many hours honestly these past like three weeks combined there really haven't been all too many off days at all which we love a good off day <laughs> however today is Wednesday and I don't go back until Monday so it'll be a little bit different than off days because I will be traveling but hopefully fingers crossed that I can rest and recharge and I'm exhausted as you cannot tell <laughs> I've been watching Love is Blind season three as I've been getting all cleaned up and everything. I'm finally to the actual packing stage, but I think I have everything that I need over here. I am packing in my little purple carry-on that I've had since I was five years old in it and it honestly has gone so strong for so long just recently i think it was I'm trying to remember made my trip in may it hit a screw as i was going into marta and there is definitely a hole in it now but i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep my hopes up for it but yes love is blind season three i'm on the wedding episodes right now this is what i had originally started watching it whenever i was doing my puzzle upstairs and now i've kind of chilled out on my puzzle just a little bit but i picked back up the love is blind and I don't know. It's it's interesting enough where I keep watching it, but I don't really find myself caring all too much about the people. Like some good Bachelor seasons, I felt emotionally invested in the people and was like just dying to know what happened and all of that. And this one, it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Whenever relationships go any type of way, those are my current thoughts on The Love is Blind. I believe I may have mentioned this already, so I'll try to edit it to not be too repetitive, but my flight is at 8.20. 25 tomorrow and so I'm assuming that the airport is going to be honestly rather empty because I don't feel like that many people fly on Thanksgiving Day regardless though I just figure like I would always so much rather have extra time than to be pushing it like at all in any type of way and so my goal was to kind of get there two hours before but then just with traffic and getting to the airport and everything I've now scheduled my uber to pick me up at 5 45 tomorrow morning which definitely feels early but it will definitely Definitely also be <laughs> okay <laughs> because if I get there and I get to my gate and I'm just like milling about like I can bring a good book I can read I think I'm gonna plan on just getting coffee there instead of trying to make it here so that I can actually stay awake on the flight there's something about flights and bus rides that it's not even like I get good sleep but it's just so hard for me not to nod off but then it messes with my sleep schedule for the rest of like that day or I, it just my goal is to stay awake on the flight and get some like reading in or listen to some podcasts, whatever it may be. I am so excited to be taking this break from work because this is honestly the longest that I will have not worked since June. And by worked, I mean like go into jail, which it's just like, I think every work environment is kind of like this. And you guys know that I like my job, but obviously there's things that I deal with in my job and the environment is just not always the most pleasant. Like I feel like it definitely is a different world in there. And I feel like that's what kind of just made me feel weird for lack of more specific word this week was spending so much time in there just it's like the twilight zone honestly and I mean that in like every sense of it where it's a breath of fresh air to be out <laughs> and not working and not doing anything and so that is a breath of fresh air that I am really going to be trying to ride this little vacation season of my next four days I feel like you maybe can even tell that my energy is more regular right now than it even has been at all in the past like a couple weeks maybe even like last week was weird and ended up being a funky vlog this week was just weird all over throughout life and I feel like has also ended up being a funky vlog but I am definitely okay with that I am going to end out this vlog so that I can pack up my camera get myself as ready as possible just 
get ready to go before before going to bed tonight so that tomorrow I can always like wake up easy peasy lemon squeezy and head on into the airport but I will be vlogging while at home which I'm very excited for because that'll be a funky vlog in the best sense of the word it has been a while since I've been at home an even longer while since I have vlogged at home so you guys get a little touch of Missouri touch of hometown you'll get my dogs and I'm really excited for for those four days <laughs> so all of that being said thanks for sticking with me through these weird weeks i appreciate you i hope you are having a great little holiday time whatever you're doing and i'll see you next time